My name is Falak Mui Kazim Sarisu and I'm from the Ambassadors College, Ota Ubun State. Chirike Chibuza Margaret. I'm from Dorothy International Secondary School, Aba Abia State. Lade Ifiho. I'm from Abel Kutagawa School, Diaba Abel Kuta, Ubun State. I'm from Samaya Wang. I'm from Brentwood College, Meron Lagos State. Harun Faru from Federal Government Academy, Siloja, Naira State. Fashla Akiwande. And I'm from St. Catherine's College, Alesh Nere Ibado, Oyo State. Arisa Ingol Freya Oroluwa from Chap Secondary School, Ila and Kwara State. Obegun Emanuel from my Christine International High School, Edo State. Gina Wache Kafeba from Dorothy International Secondary School, Aba Abia State. Welcome. It's another exciting episode on SPA, your all-inclusive science competition for secondary school students in Nigeria. comprises of two levels, the foundation and the advanced round. For the foundation round, you all will have the opportunity to attempt 12 general science questions, each within a 15 second window. Marks will be awarded to you based on your individual speed and accuracy. The first five students to answer each question correctly will earn the maximum of 10 points, while every other student that gets the answer correct will earn five points. Now, if you don't get the answer, or if you answer after the allotted time has elapsed, you get no points at all. At the end of this round, the five students with highest cumulative scores based on speed and accuracy will proceed to the next round. You all have worked very, very hard to be here today. It's no easy feat being amongst the top 81 out of the thousands of students that sat for the national qualifying exams. So I wish you the very best of luck. This is Spark, and it's time to unveil our Spark Hero of the Week. People do not go mad for no reason. I'm going to continue looking. Well, if you have to play hero, just make sure we both come out okay. That is a line from the Hollywood movie Concussion. This movie chronicles the medical achievements of Beneth Omalu, the Nigerian-born doctor that discovered the chronic traumatic encephalopathy CTE, a degenerative disease in American football players. Born in 1968 at Enugu, the shy Beneth was admitted to the Federal Government College Enugu at 12. He jettisoned his dream of being a pilot and went to medical school at the University of Nigeria, Uzuka, at the age of 16 graduating with an MBBS degree in 1990. His desire to be an expert in his chosen path of neuropathology garnered him eight advanced degrees and board certifications from the universities of Washington, Pittsburgh and Carnegie Mellon in 2000, 2002 and 2008, all in the United States respectively. Now a professor, Beneth Itakandu Omalu's landmark discovery has gone ahead to revolutionize sports safety in American football. In this eminent Nigerian story is that of a man who believes in himself. Even when the odds were stacked against him, he stood his grounds. He never allowed others or situations deter him from delivering the spark always. Dr. Omalu is indeed a hero of our time, taking his skills from Enugu to the rest of the world. Now, Emmanuel, is it something that you're considering? And by that, I mean brain surgery. I'm not really a fan of the medical aspects of profession. What would you rather do? I'd engage in electrical engineering. Electrical engineering, a round of applause for Emmanuel. <laughs> Fala, taking all that you've learned and applying it beyond the shores of Nigeria, is that something that you're also thinking about? Yeah, certainly. What do you hope to achieve? Flying cars. Flying cars. A round of applause for Paul Rafi. 
it's time for the foundation round. Now remember that not only does it matter that you get the answer correct, but in order to earn maximum points, you need to be one of the first five students to get the answers correct. I wish you the best of luck. Question one. Pascal is the unit for what physical quantity? A, temperature. B, pressure. C, heat energy. And D, current. Five seconds on the clock. And the time is up. All our contestants got it correct. <laughs> Question two. Which of these rocks, coal, feldspar, and quartz is not a mineral? A, quartz. B, coal. C, all these rocks are minerals. And D, none of them is a mineral. Favor, you're the only person that got it correct. Everyone else got the answer incorrect. Better luck next time. Question three. What is the scientific study of insects? A, ornithology. B, insectology. C, anthropology. And D, entomology. We have six correct answers in all and three incorrect answers, but everybody attempted a question within the allotted period. Question four. Simplify y over two to the power of two divided by the root of two y to the power of two. A, y over eight. B, y over three. C, two y and D, four y to the power of two. Interestingly, I have only three attempts at this question. And out of the three attempts, Mayawa and Chika are the only two that got it correct. Question five. Which of the following is not a characteristic of living organisms? A, respiration. B, movement. C, feeding. And D, expansion. And all our contestants got it correct. A round of applause for them. <laughs> Question six. The following are vertebrates except A, a lizard, B, the jellyfish, C, the tilapia fish, and D, a toad. Our 15 seconds are up. Once again, all our contestants have the correct answers. It's the midway point and so far even I am unable to tell who is taking the lead and who isn't. The next half will determine who moves on to the advanced round so don't go anywhere we'll be right back. Interested in Nigeria advancing in science and technology? Interested in meeting over 10,000 secondary schools and over 20 million teenagers? Then you must be interested in SPAC National Science Competition. For sponsorship and inquiries, drop us a line at spacsponsor at spac.ng or call 0701-326-0088. The pursuit of science leads to only one road. Greatness. Albert Einstein. Are you ready to be great? Watch SPAC National Science Competition for high school students in Nigeria showing 8 p.m. every Sunday from 1st October 2017 on Africa Magic Family Channel 154 with repeats on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. and Saturday 11 a.m. West Africa time. SPAC is with media support from Africa Magic. SPAC, be great. Welcome back to the show. It's the second half of the foundation round, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek into what the results are looking like so far. Now, if your name is not at the top of the list, don't be discouraged. You have six more questions to change the game. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Question seven. The transfer of pollen grains from an anther to the stigma of a flower is called A, fertilization. B. Germination C. 
pollination and D photosynthesis eight of our contestants got it right and it's only Emmanuel that provided the incorrect answer question eight what is the equivalent value of one horsepower? A, 567 watts. B, 663 watts. C, 746 watts. And D, 363 watts. Favor. It appears that you provided the incorrect answer and everyone else got it right. Question nine. The following are green plants except a. Beans B. The mushroom C. Maize and D. Yam Looks like everyone has provided their answer way before the time was up. I was right and everyone got it correct as well. <laughs> Question 10 An insect has dash pair of legs A. 6, B, 3, C, 2, and D, 4. How many pairs? Chica, you are the first person to answer. And you got it right along with Godfrieda, while all other seven contestants provided the incorrect answer. Question 11. An example of a parasite is A, a mosquito. B, a butterfly, C, a cockroach, and D, a grasshopper. Remember, a parasite is a living organism that preys on its host and doesn't provide anything of value in return. I have eight correct answers and one incorrect answer. Question 12. Scientific investigation include the following except A. Computation B. Observation C. Hypothesis and D. Experimentation Everyone attempted the question and everyone got it correct. <laughs> Remember that we have just five of you that will be moving on to the advanced round. Don't go anywhere. Interested in Nigeria advancing in science and technology? Interested in meeting over 10,000 secondary schools and over 20 million teenagers? Then you must be interested in SPAC National Science Competition. For sponsorship and inquiries, drop us a line at spacsponsor at spac.ng or call 0701-326-0088. The pursuit of science leads to only one road. Greatness. Albert Einstein. Are you ready to be great? Watch SPAC National Science Competition for high school students in Nigeria showing 8 p.m. every Sunday from 1st October 2017 on Africa Magic Family Channel 154 with repeats on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. and Saturday 11 a.m. West Africa time. SPAC is with media support from Africa Magic. SPAC, be great. The results are in and we have the five contestants that will proceed to the advanced round. Fola, Favor, Farouk and Godfrieda. Unfortunately, your spark race ends here. You've done well enough, but I only need five contestants to go to the next round. I wish you the very best as you continue to strive for greatness. A round of applause for them as they exit the stage. <laughs> now, congratulations to Chirike, Mayowa, Wande, Emmanuel, and Chika. Based on your speed and accuracy levels, you have qualified for the advanced round. Here at Spark, we emphasize not just accuracy, for, but speed as well. There were two people with the same number of correct answers, but based on speed, 
we eliminated four people and were left with five. It's time for the advanced round. And here, the five of you will have the opportunity to select from seven subject areas where questions will be pulled from. A total of 10 questions will be selected for you and you have 45 seconds to attempt all of them. If you miss or skip any question, don't worry, you can come back and attempt it again as long as it is within that 45 second window. Each correct answer in the advanced round will earn you 20 points, but all the scores that you aggregated from the foundation round do not apply here. Let's take a turn. This is where we determine the sequence for the five of you participating in the advanced round. A keypad will appear on the screen along with a code and I will give you a hint. You'll be required to crack the code using the hint to decipher the letters on the keypad. Our code breaker for today is 83752 and the clue is Moto. Do we have anybody that has the right answer? Oh, Chiwike has the correct answer. Chika as well. Emmanuel is done. Our contestants are done keen in the answer. And the correct answer to the code breaker is Tesla. Now, Nicholas Tesla was a renowned inventor, physicist, and engineer. He is especially remembered for all his contributions to the design of an alternating current in electricity supply systems. A round of applause for our contestants. So based on the speed with which the answer came in, the person going first for the subject selection is Chiwike, followed by Emmanuel, and then Chika, Wande, and Mayowa. Are you ready? Yes. Now is your time to spark. If two ten, of ten right meters. Triangle, what is the common logarithm of one zero 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 zero? Five. Derived from the Greek meaning giants, what metric unit denotes one billion? Terra. What is forty to the power of two minus thirty to the power of two? Seven hundred. If five over x equals ten over twelve, what's the value of x? In Elucidian geometry, a parallelogram is a quadrilateral with how many two. pairs of parallel sides? 320 is 80% of what number? Four hundred. How many sides are there on a dodecagon? What is the name of the first computer Enya. made available for commercial use? The first female scientist to win a Nobel Prize Marie for Curie. her work Mar derived from the Greek meaning giants. Oh, round of applause for Chiuke. <laughs> Emmanuel, you're up next. Now is your time to spark. Who designed the Nigerian Tell flag? Me. Salt water is an example of what amongst these? Solution. A, colloid. B, solution. The conversion of digital signal to an analog signal Pass. involves what process? To prevent unauthorized Pass access word. to a computer system, we use which of Newton's laws of motion is often First referred one. to? In physics, velocity equals the displacement Pass. divided by what? What is the unit of resistivity? Pass. A certain chip W was used in the circuit of a microcomputer, has Bus. a mass of 5 grams. What sex hormone is produced by the pituitary gland? Pass. What part of the male reproductive system produces the largest component of the seminal fluid? Testis. The conversion of digital signal to an analog signal or round of applause for Emmanuel. <laughs> Chica, it's your turn. Now is your time to spark. What is the name of the sharp, slender, downward growing pinnacle that hangs from cave roofs? Stalactites. What phenomenon causes the absorption of ink by blotting paper? Absorption. Pass, pass. Why does water wet glass? Pass. Two isotopes of Z with mass numbers 18 and 24 are in the ratio 1 to 2. Determine the relative mass of Z. 3 to 4. What is the number of electrons in a chloride ion? 1. The part of male reproductive system that carries sperm from a testis to urethra is called Pass. What form of nitrogenous waste do birds excrete? Uric acid. What is the excretory organ in insects? Pass. The excretory organ in an earthworm is video. called Nephidium. 45 seconds are up. A round of applause for Chika. 
One day, now is your time to spark. Nigeria is located between which latitudes? Pass. What term is given to a permeable rock layer in which water can be stored? Pass. What name is given to winds whose direction is reversed from one Pass. season to the other? What will be the acceleration of a stone falling through a viscous liquid at terminal speed? Zero. The atomic number of an element is 18. To what period does this element belong in a periodic table? Two. If a metal R forms a compound Pass. with the formula... What organelle eliminates water from a protozoan? Conjugate vacuo. Deficiency of vitamin C results in what Scurvy. condition? Which wave enables a TV remote unit to operate a Electromagnetic TV waves. What game is Davis Pass. associated with? Nigeria is located in the region. A round of applause for one day. <laughs> Mayowa, now is your time to spark. What is the name of the Earth's Pass. natural satellite? What is the name of the force acting along the surface of a liquid versus the liquid surface? Viscous. What name is given to an irregular and constant motion of Brian motion? A perfume sprayed at one Deficient. end of the room. What is the name of the gas liberated Ammonia. when NH4Cl? CUSO4 582 can be obtained. What product is formed when KMO4 solution? What is the supplement of a 70 degree angle? Bass. Tunde spent 420 naira on the shoe. Bass. How many rods are in Napier's bones? Bass. What is the name of the Earth's wow. natural satellite? What is the name of the force acting along the surface of a liquid, causing the liquid surface to behave like in a surface tension. elastic skin? Ah. CUSO4 5H2O can be obtained from an aqueous solution of copper 2 tetrahydrate. The, the, the results are in. I want to announce to you that we have a tie between two contestants, and we'll find out who these two contestants are after the break. Interested in Nigeria advancing in science and technology? Interested in meeting over 10,000 secondary schools and over 20 million teenagers? Then you must be interested in SPAC National Science Competition. For sponsorship and inquiries, drop us a line at spacsponsor at spac.ng or call 0701-326-0088. The pursuit of science leads to only one road. Greatness. Albert Einstein. Are you ready to be great? Watch SPAC National Science Competition for high school students in Nigeria showing 8 p.m. every Sunday from 1st October 2017 on Africa Magic Family Channel 154 with repeats on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. and Saturday 11 a.m. West Africa time. SPAC is with media support from Africa Magic. SPAC, be great. Welcome back to the just concluded advanced round. Before the break, I revealed that we had a tie between two contestants, and this means we'll proceed to a sudden end segment in order to break that tie. Before we do, however, Chica, unfortunately, your spark race ends here. You've done well enough coming this far. And we hope that you continue to do great exploits. A round of applause for him. We have two contestants tied at 60 points, one contestant at 80 points, and another contestant at 160 points. Mayowa and Chiwike, congratulations. The two of you have qualified for the semis. Chiriki and Mayowa, you may step down. A round of applause for them. Now, Emmanuel and Wande, you both are tied at 60 points, and we have to break the tie. To break this tie, a question will appear on the screen. The first person to hit the buzzer has exactly five seconds to provide the correct answer. If you get it right, you automatically join Chiwike and Mayowa in the semis. But if you don't, you are out of the race, leaving the other person automatically qualifying. Do we understand how that works? Yes. Remember, you have just five seconds, so make sure you answer 
as soon as you can. Our sudden end question is, what is the additive inverse of four? One day hit the buzzer first. What about four? Unfortunately, the correct answer to that question is minus four. One day you are out of the race at this point. Congratulations, Emmanuel. You have qualified for the semi-finals of the Spark National Science Competition. And we have come to the end of another exciting episode of Spark. Catch us next week where another nine outstanding Sparksters will take to the stage to prove their mettle. I'm Khadija Abu. Remember, you have to spark to be great. Bye for now. <laughs>